Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization, and today's BS topic is primal. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So a note to myself in this video is for me to start the video with, what's up primals? JK, that's fucking stupid. Why is it stupid, you may ask? Here's the thing. I don't know what the fuck primal means. There's a primal lifestyle, primal philosophy, and I think it means like ancestral, like what our ancestors used to do back in the idyllic times when we were all healthy and our chakras were aligned, except that's all a crock of shit. Here's why. Our ancestors' eating and activity patterns were incredibly varied. You would think that's true because some of us trace our ancestry to North America, like Native Americans. Other trace our ancestry to the Korean Peninsula, others to the um, southernmost tip of Africa, others to the northernmost part of Norway. Y you guys think people evolving in those environments ate the same food? What the fuck? I don't even know if northern Norway has any food to eat. I don't know, fucking people eating ice or some shit like that, right? Eating and activity, activity patterns of our ancestors were incredibly varied. A lot of it was opportunism. Humans would eat whatever the fuck was around. That means they would scavenge. They would pick berries, they would eat mushrooms, they would try to eat ancestral grains, which largely sucked and are difficult to digest. That's why modern grains were genetically engineered to be better. They would eat everything they could get their fucking hands on, uh, kind of like the seagull diet or the squirrel diet, anything that's around that's going in, because mostly humans were starving to death for large fractions of our evolutionary history. It was not a fun time. And it was not... People in balance with their environment, eating raw red meat and taking contrast baths or whatever the fuck primal stupid shit like that we're supposed to be doing. In the end, there's one big ass fact about real life. It's that modernity is a good thing. That's why every single primal coach you'll ever interact with that tells you we need to live like our ancestors do a couple things in common. They all go to the hospital when they get sick. Like I've said this about a trillion times, but if you break your leg, we don't push you next to the avatar tree and be like, all right, nature, do its thing. Because you just lay there like, ah, ah, like, why isn't the tree healing him? Because that's ah, fucking how it works. You get hurt. You go to the hospital. You get sick. You go to the hospital. What does the hospital have? Big pharma medicines, evil corporate doctors, and machines upon machines upon machines that actually heal you. That's all modern. That's not primal. That's a good thing. You want to go to the hospital if you get fucked up. All of these primal coaches use social media. Social media is a technological device, okay? Because every time you use your iPhone to scroll social media, all that shit you see lives in a server farm in Iowa that takes like a trillion kilojoules of air conditioning and heating to maintain the exact temperature that they need to maintain it all the time. Probably more air conditioning and less heating because the servers make their own heat. I knew someone was going to put that in the fucking comments. That is not primal. There is no Facebook or Instagram or auto zoom cameras so you can talk into the camera and sell your primal programs in the fucking primal times. It does not exist. And they all shop at the fucking supermarket which again is not primal. And I know it sounds crazy, but some of them even take steroids. I wonder who I'm talking about. It wouldn't be Liver King. It would be Liver King. Anyway, probabilistically, that's where my money's at. Unless you're just a shade of red for no reason. Hmm, maybe. Here's the thing. The primal people have some fucking good points. But the good points can be summarized with excising the primal bullshit altogether and just saying the following. Do healthy shit. Which means what? Be more active. Train harder and train more consistently. Eat plenty of any and all of the following food groups. Lean proteins. Veggies, fruits, grains, healthy fats. Be truer to yourself and to what you want and don't engage in toxic habits that are ruining your life. Don't watch as much TV as you maybe are now or maybe watch more if that's what makes you happy. Do healthy shit that makes sense. Have a good sleep schedule. All that stuff is great. It doesn't require us to be primal. It just requires us to do obvious shit that we already know we're fucking supposed to be doing. Like, you don't watch Netflix till four in the morning and you're like, yeah, man, modernity's great. Fuck being primal. I love Netflix. Like, yeah, but your sleep's fucked up and you know that shit. Most of the time, you know what's healthy and what's not. It doesn't have dick to do with primal or not. It's just good shit like eating well and taking care of yourself and waking up at a reasonable hour, doing work, surrounding yourself with happy people. 
and fucking going hard in the gym. And that's about, that's just about it. That's just about it, folks. That's not primal. It's just a good idea. Because primal, as Arnold said it best, is bullshit. Share this video, comment, like, subscribe, get in that algorithm. Because one of the best things about modernity, it is designed of the Lamborghini. And my butlers are honestly getting tired of not having any more new Lamborghinis. They're asking for a new Lamborghini just about every day now. Annoying, but I can't push back hard against them for two reasons. One is there's kind of a lot of butlers now. I mean, I'm, I'm like a trillionaire or something. There's like 20, I don't even know all the butlers by name. Some of them by face. So when they say, hey, Dr. Mike, get us more Lamborghinis so we can drive them and take care of them for you. I'm like, all right, fellas, uh, Frank. And they're like, it's Bob. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'll go talk to HR. The second thing is the, it's not technically a union, but the butlers have their own cooperative and they're sort of making demands. And I honestly don't really feel safe all the time, but their only demands are for more Lamborghinis. Please buy shit from RP so that I can stay safe to make more videos. Did you guys hear that? I think the butlers are coming. See you guys next time.